In this video, I want to summarize everything we've learned about the empirical distribution and to try to get you to see datasets and distributions in a new way. First, let's recap the idea of an empirical distribution. If you have a dataset and you pick one of the items at random, all items equally likely, and call this random item X star, then this is called the empirical distribution. It's a discrete random variable, of course, because there are only n possible values it can take, fewer if the dataset has duplicates. And the probability mass function is just this formula here. If there are no duplicates, then every value has probability 1 on n. If there are duplicates, then the probability is multiplied up appropriately. I've written this out here in a general form. This definition works whatever the type of your data set, whether it consists of numbers or strings or whatever you like. We can't talk about cumulative distribution functions for arbitrary types, only for numbers, which is why I've written out this statement about the probability mass function rather than a statement about the cumulative distribution function. In the last video, we saw that the empirical distribution is a perfect fit for a data set and we asked why anyone would even bother fitting a parametric model. There are good reasons for parametric models, and we'll come to them when we look at cross-validation later in the course. Let me turn to another angle on the empirical distribution, and I'll describe a link with Monte Carlo approximations. What we learned earlier is that Monte Carlo is a procedure for approximating an integral or an expectation using a random sample. This is the formula. If we want to find the expected value of some function h of x, where x is a random variable, then we can take a sample of values from x and find the average of h applied to those samples. Let me rewrite this. The Monte Carlo approximation is the sum over all x values in the sample we took of h of x times the likelihood for x star, the empirical distribution, of the value little x. If all the sampled values are distinct, then the likelihood is just 1 on n for all of them. And if there are duplicates, then it's easy to see that this formula does the right thing. But this formula is just another way of writing an expectation for a discrete random variable. It's the expected value of h of x star. So what we're really saying is that we can approximate the random variable x by the empirical distribution x star. Don't read Monte Carlo as just a way to approximate an integral. Read it as a way to approximate the random variable x itself. This approximation works for any readout function h, so that's not the important thing here. The message is, why bother trying to do exact probability calculations when it's perfectly easy to approximate the random variables we're interested in and to do calculations with these approximations? There's one last nifty thing about empirical distributions that it's worth seeing. Here's a basic calculation. Let x star be the empirical distribution of a data set. This question asks us for the expected value of x star and the variance. Obviously, this only works for numerical data sets. OK, let's just write out the definition of expectation. Actually, on second thoughts, let's write it another way. We can say that x star is found by first picking a random index k and then returning the kth item in the data set. So we can write the expectation as a sum over k rather than a sum over x. This is actually an application of the law of the unconscious statistician. x star can be thought of as a function of k, so we can write its expectation in two ways, either summing over x or summing over k. And obviously, what we've found is just the sample mean. Likewise, the variance of x star turns out to be just the sample variance using the same law of the unconscious statistician trick. Let me rephrase this. If you're given a data set and someone asks you to compute its variance, you should, technically speaking, say, hey, that's a stupid thing. 
to ask. Variance is something that's only defined for random variables. There's no such thing as the variance of a list. Or you could say, oh, you mean the variance of the empirical distribution of the data set, and then everyone's happy. So whenever you're computing statistics from a data set, what you're really doing is computing statistics for the empirical distribution. This is the takeaway. A data set is a probability distribution. Whenever you're doing any probabilistic thinking at all, and you need a random variable, you can just drop in a data set instead, and everything will still make sense. Keep this in the back of your mind for now. We're not going to make use of it for the next few videos, but then when we come back, especially when we come to validation of machine learning models, this will be the big idea behind everything that we do.